Hello. Welcome to our YouTube channel Nursing PRNCFET. Subscribe to our channel now and click on bell icon for more updates. We upload regular videos for staff nurse exams preparations. Question 1. What is the normal suction pressure for suctioning to a term newborn? A. 40 to 60 mm of Hg. B. 60 to 80 mm of Hg. C. 80 to 100 mm of Hg. D. 100 to 110 mm of Hg. Correct answer is B. 60 to 80 mm of Hg. Question 2. What is the normal suction pressure for suctioning to a preterm newborn? A. 40 to 60 mm of Hg. B. 60 to 80 mm of Hg. C. 80 to 100 mm of Hg. D. 100 to 110 mm of Hg. Correct answer is A. 40 to 60 mm of Hg. Question 3. A nurse is clamping umbilical cord and the nurse know that the distance of first clamp from the umbilicus should be a. 2.5 cm b. 5 cm c. 7 cm d. 5.5 cm Correct answer is a. 2.5 cm Question 4. Maximum score of UPGA scoring is A. 8 B. 10 C. 13 D. 23 Correct answer is B. 10 Question 5. Most important component of the UPGA scoring is A. Heart rate B. Respiratory rate. C. Grimace. D. Skin color. Correct answer is A. Heart rate. Question 6. If UPGA score is 6, just after the birth of baby, which intervention is appropriate for this baby? A. Normal routine care. B. Oxygen therapy and stimulation. C. Resuscitation. D. None of the above. Correct answer is B. Oxygen therapy and stimulation. Question 7. Which color's identification bend is used for a girl newborn? A. Blue. B. Pink. C. Red. D. Green. Correct answer is B. Pink color. Question 8. Breastfeeding should be start within how many hours after a normal delivery? A. Within half hour. B. Within 4 hour. C. Within 24 hours. D. Within 2 hours. Correct answer is A. Breastfeeding should be start within half hour in normal delivery. And in the case of C-section. Breastfeeding should be start within 4 hours. Question 9. Route of administration of vitamin K injection in a newborn. A. Subcutaneous route. B. Intramuscular route. C. Intradermal route. D. Intravenous route. Correct answer is B. Injection vitamin K is given to newborn to prevent bleeding. Dose is 0.5 mg to 1 mg. Route of administration is intramuscular. Question 10. What is the normal temperature of a term healthy newborn? A. 36 to 37 degree centigrade. B. 36.5 to 37.5 degree centigrade. C. 37.5 to 38.5 degrees centigrade.
D. 38 degree centigrade. Correct answer is B. Other normal vital signs of newborn. Heart rate. 120 to 160 beats per minute. Respiration rate. 30 to 60 breath per minute. Temperature. 36.5 to 37.5 degree centigrade. Blood pressure. Systolic BP. 60 to 80 millimeters of Hg. Diastolic BP. 40 to 50 millimeters of Hg. Question 11. Normal average length of the atom healthy newborn. A. 40 centimeters. B. 50 centimeters. C. 60 centimeters. D. 65 centimeters. Correct answer is B. 50 centimeters. Normal body measurements of newborn. Weight 2.5 to 4 kilograms. Length 45 to 55 centimeters. Average 50 centimeters. Head circumference 33 to 35 centimeters. Chest circumference 30 to 32 centimeters. Mid arm circumference 11 to 12 centimeters. Question 12. Joint between two cranial bones are known as A. Fontanelles. B. Bregma. C. Sutures. D. Skull joints. Correct answer C. Sutures are the fibrous joint between cranial bones. Fontanelles are a wide gap between sutures. Question 13. Anterior fontanel is also known as A. Lambda. B. Bregma. C. Vertical. D. None of the above. Of. Correct answer is B. Anterior fontanel also known as Bregma. It formed by four sutures. It fuses at 12 to 18 months of age. It is diamond shaped fontanel. Question 14. Posterior fontanel fuses at the age of A. 6 months. B. 12 months. C. 6 years. D. 6 weeks. Correct answer is D. 6 weeks. Posterior fontanel also known as lambda. It formed by three sutures. It fuse at 6 weeks of age. It is triangular shaped fontanel. Question 15. Which statement is wrong about caput succedinum? A. Can cross suture line. B. Always present at birth. C. Occurs due to improper venous drainage. D. Can't cross suture line. Correct answer is D. Caput succedinum occurs due to improper venous drainage. Can fluid can cross suture line and spontaneously resolves within 72 hours. Always present at birth. Question 16. Which statement is right about cephalematoma? A. Can cross suture line. B. Always present at birth. C. Occurs due to improper venous drainage. D. Can't cross suture line. Correct answer is D. Cephalematoma occurs due to rupture of minor emissary veins. Fluid can't cross suture line and may spontaneously resolves or incision required. Not present at the time of birth. Question 17. Red reflex test is used to identification of which pathological condition? A. Glaucoma. B. Down syndrome. C. Cataract. D. Otitis media. Correct answer C. Red reflex is used to identify cataract and retinoblastoma. Absence of red reflex indicate congenital cataract or retinoblastoma. Question 18. A nurse is assessing a newborn.
During eye examination which assessment finding is abnormal about normal pupil? A. Equal pupils. B. In round shape. C. Reactive to light. D. Non-reactive to light. Correct answer is D. Pupils should be equal round reactive to light and accommodation. Question 19. Torticollis occurs due to the damage to which cranial nerve? A. Fifth cranial nerve. B. Seventh cranial nerve. C. Ninth cranial nerve. D. Eleventh cranial nerve. Correct answer is D. Torticollis is twisting of the neck one side due to damage of eleventh cranial nerve. Question 20. Initial sign of respiratory distress? A. Cyanosis. B. Grunting sound. C. Nasal flaring. D. Tachypnea. Correct answer is C. Nasal flaring is initial sign of respiratory distress. Question 21. Ali's sign is associated with A. Epispadias. B. Cryptochidism. C. Developmental dysplasia of hip. D. Down syndrome. Correct answer is C. Ali's sign is associated with developmental dysplasia of hip. It is also known as Gale's Tse's sign. Shortening of affected leg. Question 22. Which birthmark requires cosmetic surgery in future? A. Telangiatic nevi. B. Nevis flammis. C. Nevis vasculosis. D. Mongolium. Correct answer is B. Nevis flammis or port wine stain is a birthmark. It appears dark red mainly on face. It not disappear with time and requires cosmetic surgery in future. Question 23. Which assessment findings is not related to a preterm newborn? A. Soft ear pinna. B. Vernix caseosa covers whole body. C. Long nail. D. Low birth weight. Correct answer C. Long nail are found in a post-term newborn. Question 24. What is the first assessment of the newborn? A. Suction. B. Initiation of respiration. C. Upga scoring. D. Physical examination. Question 25. Bowel sounds should present within how many hours after birth? A. 1 hour. B. 4 hours. C. 24 hours. D. 12 hours. Correct answer is A. Bowel sounds should present within 1 hour after birth. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this video then tell me in comment box. Subscribe to our channel and click on bell button for more videos updates. And also share this video to your friends and tell them to subscribe our channel.